Welcome to Food for Soul series. This is Favorites of October. And I will start with TV series, as always. This one is called West World. It is based on the same name movie, which was published in 1973. Uh, in this series, there is an entertainment park, not like we used to, but it is enormous and real and in Western style with cowboys and Indians. It is maintained by the corporation for rich people to have fun at. And uh, instead of real humans to perform the storylines and acts, they use bio-robots, who are very real and uh, hard to distinguish from real human. Another reason for that is that West world would not be West without violence and killing. Therefore, for the guests who enter this park to have this freedom to do whatever they like, including killing, they uh, use bio-robots. And it creates an interesting relationship between humans and robots, as well as touches on interesting philosophical topics, like what is it to be human? Is it memories? that makes us human, is it emotions and so forth. Also, these real people who enter this park for entertainment, when they are restricted by the rules of society in the real world, they cannot just run around and kill, which they can do in the entertainment park of Westworld, and they do. And therefore, that asks the question, if you would be not restricted by rules in the real world, would you do the same? Who are you? Are you that violent person in Westworld? Or are you hiding in the rules of society? And much more. This series always made me question things of reality and what is to be real, what is to be human, and where is the line between robot and human. So I very advise you to watch, it's called Westworld. The next on the list is a book called Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. This book teaches you how to understand and hear other individuals' inner needs in order to prevent uh, violence in communication and relationships. It's not about who is right or who is wrong, it's about if our needs are being met. And if they are not, we are more inclined towards violence. So this book talks about how to communicate your emotions better in order to not mislead other person of what you really need. And uh, that is the main problem in our communication, as we don't really understand ourselves. And we communicate things that we want, but not what we really need. So by understanding yourself better and being able to communicate it better to another person and asking right questions, you can understand what other person needs. Therefore, you can meet his needs better and uh, yeah so it's in short if you want to understand people better on a deeper level and yourself as well uh, definitely read this book for sure the next one is a game app uh, that is actually developed by our company it is called geo neo metron it is a logic reaction game it is very simple but it plays with your mind by constantly forcing your logical thinking to switch throughout the game i'm not going to talk about the mechanics of the gameplay itself as you can find the link below and download it and play it and try to beat my record, which is 8,648. And the next on the list is Planly or Planly. It is a social media planner app. It allows you to plan and schedule your posts and stories on Instagram, as well as arrange your feed before you post it and track your analytics and much more. I was constantly looking for such app, but most of them were not officially approved by Instagram. But Planly is actually an official partner of Instagram. So if you have a business account, you can definitely use it. There's a free version that allows you to have one profile and make 30 uploads per month, which might be enough for the beginner. And the next one is Kaya Project, which I just started listening to. It is kind of electronic music with Indian, Asian and Arabic elements in it. So if you are into such music, check them out very original and refreshing. And finally, last one on the list is a YouTube channel called Viva La Dirt Leak. They're making comedic uh, video parodies on absurd situations from popular video games like PUBG and uh, Skyrim and other RPG games and uh, Red Dead Redemption and so forth, which is very funny and very positive. So if you are into games, I believe you will definitely like it. Check them out. And that's all for this month. See you next time.